So self-monitoring is one of the executive functions and I think it's a key one that people sometimes get confused. Often people think emotional control and self-regulation relates to self-monitoring, but they're a bit different. Emotional regulation or emotional control is very much in the moment and my emotions and keeping them in check right now or being aware of them. Whereas self-monitoring is a bit more also future focused or across time. So it's how we understand our behavior and how we adjust and make changes with our behavior for the future. It can also include things related to the work you're doing, whether it's schoolwork, study or work in your job. Um, actually taking time to check for mistakes and fix mistakes. It can also be related to social behavior. So whether you're responding to social norms, whether it's situational awareness, so being aware of social things happening in the moment and responding or checking in on yourself, even things like apologizing when maybe you need to. So it's kind of, it's this awareness of self monitoring and adjusting, discussing your thoughts and feelings with other people adjusting maybe your effort you know maybe i sucked at this thing last time or it wasn't great so i'll put in more effort next time to actually achieve the goal in the future um, it's also about understanding and articulating consequences of positive or negative behavior and then a big part of it is reflection so self-reflection whether there was problem behavior and then changing things to decrease that thing occurring again or the opposite maybe it's about um, skills and things that you have or the way you behave to shift to that to have a better positive outcome. It's kind of a complicated one. Some key challenges in this area. So it can be that when you're not monitoring you don't remain on a task, um, you don't get things done or maybe you have disruptive behavior that's probably more so related to say kids in school. Maybe you can be aggressive, agitated uh, or have behaviors that aren't great. So monitoring and understanding yourself and thinking, am I on social media for what reason or am I binge eating or am I grumpy? And then things like uh, pro-social behavior. So initiating, cooperating and listening. So even about how you are in a social situation, how you treat people. As I said, I think this one's complicated and it's hard to maybe be aware and see in yourself, but it's worth considering about what do you do in, when there's social issues? Uh, how do you shift to maybe it not happen again? And, and where are your challenges? So you can think about what could change for you to make you be, I guess, happier and have better relationships overall.